filing, you're going to smooth the edges of the material and shape it using the files that are here. Some of the files that you use will be fairly coarse teeth, a little bit like this, and then gradually you'll work down to the much finer smoothing files. Most of the files you're going to need are going to be flat files, but you can use a file that's got half a surface that's round and half a surface that's flat, but you'll still only use the flat side of the file. Do be careful, because if you drop a file, it can break, because it's extremely hard and very, very brittle. To help you see in the video, I've marked the areas I want to cut off in yellow. So you can see I've marked the taper and the curved edge on the end here, and I've marked the curved edge on the other end. The yellow areas need removing with the file and then smoothing down so that there are no sharp edges. Otherwise, these would cut your coats. Right, to cut the curve, you don't want to put your workpiece in vertical. You want to put it in at an angle like that, nice and low down, and just deal with taking the corners off that curve first. So you'll see me take the corners off the curve, and then I'll put it in the vise the other way round, so it's round that way, and file the other side off here, and then I will put it vertically in the vise over here, like that, and that's when I will then actually profile it to a proper curve. So you'll see those three stages happening. Right, so to use a file, you hold the end of the file, you make sure your elbow, the hand, and the end of the tool are in a nice straight line. You just put your other hand as a rest on the end. Try not to put your fingers underneath. It's better just to put pressure on the top. Your workpiece here, you can actually slide the work forward and back. Forward is the cut stroke, and then you just lightly lift it over, and that just cleans any little pieces out of the bottom of the file. A few good strokes should actually see the majority of that edge removed and then you can turn it round and do the other side. So now you can see I've taken the corners off and we've got most of the material removed. We're now going to put the file with the flat edge along the inside edge there and literally just roll the file around the top to make it curved. So it will be need quite a bit of pressure which I'm not particularly giving it at the moment but it will gradually curve it round and then I can put it on this side and I can do the same again. So you're rolling your wrist to actually get the file to go over the top and that will make it nice and smooth. So now you can see it's nice and smooth. I've got my smoothing file out and I'm going to do the same again with my smoothing file. So I need to press quite hard and actually just drift it over the edge. But at this point, I'm still going to have some sharp edges on the, on the front here. So I've actually got quite a sharp edge called a burr. And to remove that, I actually need to just file along the edge of the, uh, the burr a little bit like that. Right, here you can see the taper that's been filed. And there's quite a number of marks, which you won't necessarily see on the video, but you can see by the naked eye along here that will visually upset and uh, not be very good. To get rid of those, you need to do something called a draw file. So once you've used your fine file to actually file across the top, you're then going to draw file. And to draw file, you hold the file across there and pull the draw file backwards and forwards, so like that. You literally draw the file along the edge. And that puts much, much finer um, marks into the material and cleans it up. To get rid of the burr on the outside, you then just run the file down the two sides and that's what takes that little burr off the edge and then you do the same on the other side and the top and you should end up then with something that's nicely parallel and nicely straight. If you actually bring the file round slightly so it's a little bit longer you can actually take out some of the little ripples as well if you've got bumps on there. That should then give you a nicely tapered top with a rounded end and it should give you a nicely rounded end at the other end and that's your filing finished.